Item 5.2, we have an employee recognition this evening, and I think Stephen Gerald is going to handle that. Yes, thank you, Mayor, Commissioners, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, Chief Joe Jackson. Captain, you want to join us down here as well? And Alan Peterson. Would you join us, front and center, Alan? And your wife said, no way is she's coming up here, right? <laughs> Why don't you have front and center, Alan, if you will. And um, Officer Austin Burks, would you join us? We'll have everybody up here at one time, and we've got um, two different presentations to make this evening. Anybody else want to join this group? OK, all right. Whoop. Oh. Well, let me find some glasses to start. <laughs> Start something heroic. Uh, Mr. Gilbert, thank you for this opportunity to recognize these individuals because I had the opportunity this week to interview both of these individuals after saving lives. I've never had that experience before. And to have these gentlemen in my office tell me their personal story about saving lives just moved me to no end. And uh, it's just uh, a real treat to read this commendation for these gentlemen. So we'll start with Alan Peterson first. And Chief Joe Jackson has a presentation to make as well, along with City Manager uh, Gerald Gilbert. Ladies and gentlemen, on the morning of Wednesday, September 14th, City of Ena Utility Services employee Alan Peterson, the young man in the blue thundershirt, responded to a couple in need when he heard shouts of help coming from a home located at 1914 North Adams. Between his second and third stop of the day, Field Service Representative Peterson glanced down the street and noticed smoke in the area. Upon hearing screams from a woman yelling, help, my house is on fire, Peterson ran to the house and assisted Nola Clark through a bedroom window to safety. Learning there was another person in the house, Alan Peterson ran to the front door of the home. Mr. Peterson was unable to fully open the front door as he found Mr. Clark face down on the floor in the entryway. At that time, the young man to his right, Enid Police Officer Austin Burks arrived at the home and both men reached into the smoke-filled burning residence and pulled Mr. James Clark to safety. When asked about this experience, Alan Peterson told me, I think the Lord put me there. I should have not been on Adam Street that morning. I barely got a glimpse of smoke over the roof of the house. Peterson added, you just never know how you're going to react to a situation such as this. And on this special occasion, Alan, our utmost appreciation is extended to Alan Peterson for his bravery, for his response to the call of duty, and for your unselfish act to help a fellow citizen in need. Therefore, it is great honor that uh, City Manager Gerald Gilbert presents this letter of commendation again with the City of Enid seal on it and Gerald Gilbert's signature. It is uh, committed to, or sent to, excuse me, Mr. Alan Peterson. Alan, thank you very much, congratulations. And I know Joe Jackson has a um, presentation to make. Gerald has comments and then we'll let you talk if that's okay. okay. Right. Go ahead, give him the... Uh, oh, I'm sorry. This will be very brief. Uh, I tell you what, when I heard about this and saw what Alan did, I've known Alan for the whole time I've worked here and you've worked here a lot longer. I'm sure you've probably done some other things like that, but uh, what I wanted to say is that he embodies, and so does Officer Burks, I'll talk a little bit about that in a minute, what we would all like to be, the best of our human nature, somebody that showed courage, somebody that showed uh, you know, no concern for their own well-being and went in and, and actually saved some people. I don't think that's hyperbole, Alan. I, I appreciate it. I know you've been, both of you have been very humble about this, so I'm gonna cut it off right there and just uh, um, let you say a few words. Thank you, I appreciate the recognition. Um, I'm most thankful to find out that people are okay. That was the best news to hear that they'd been released. Um, I'm thankful it all went the way it was. As I said, I believe the Lord placed me there at that time and Officer Burks following up the way he did. Um, it just was the best case scenario, the way it worked out, and thank you. <coughs> Alan, the Enid Fire Department uh, appreciates your efforts and actions, and we want to uh, 
recognize you. It reads, this plaque says, the Indian Fire Department hereby recognizes Alan Peterson for his quick response and life-saving actions in the rescue of victims of a house fire September 4, 2016. And we thank you. It makes our job easier when we have citizens out there, especially city employees, who take the effort to do the right thing. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Is this where we do the standing ovation? <laughs> we wait. <Yeah. laughs> I don't want the, the, this floor to lean all that way, so I'll move her on this side a little bit. So, uh, ladies and gentlemen, and mayor and commissioners, uh, these gentlemen at five o'clock uh, held an interview with Channel 4 here in Oklahoma City, here in this council chambers, and both of these individuals represented the city of Enid so well. Not just the city of Enid, the community of Enid. They did an excellent job in the interview. Some of that will air tonight at 10 o'clock and then also tomorrow morning. But these two fine gentlemen, uh, you did great on camera. So they did a great job. So let's turn our attention to uh, the young man. They're all young men, as I heard. The police officer, Austin Burks. On the morning of Wednesday, September 14th, Enid Police Officer Austin Burks noticed a fire emergency report while monitoring the computer in his unit. Officer Burks responded to assist before he received the official call to respond. His quick and decisive action proved to be instrumental in saving the life of Mr. James Clark. When Officer Burks arrived on the scene, City of Enid employee Mr. Alan Peterson was attempting to open the front door of the burning residence. Both city employees found Mr. Clark face down on the floor in the entryway, but unable to move. In a joint effort, Enid Police Officer Austin Burks reached in the smoke-filled burning residence and pulled Mr. Clark to safety. When I asked about this experience, Patrolman Austin Burks told me, you've got to do what you have to do. I believe it's on every cop's bucket list to go into a burning house, pull someone out to safety, unquote. But Officer Burks added, we were just in the right place at the right time. The city of Enid, Austin, has the utmost appreciation, and we extend that to you for your bravery, and also for your rapid response to the call of duty. Therefore, again, it is with great honor I present this letter of commendation from the office of the city manager, Gerald Gilbert, to Officer Austin Burks. Congratulations. Is this on? Yeah, it's, it's on. Hey, I'll just say a few words, too, about Officer Burks. You know, that was very funny. I, I enjoyed that, too. He's a, he's a young man, as this was pointed out already, been about three years on the force. So I guess he's going to have to add some things to his bucket list now because he saved someone out of a burning building already and checked that one off the list. Again, I just want to say for both of you, I appreciate you embody the best of human nature. Um, I'm, I'm, and we all wish we could and hope that we would do the exact same thing you did, but we don't know. But we know you guys would, and so I'm glad you're on our force, and I'm glad you're on our team, Alan. Captain Skaggs, did you have anything to add? And Chief Joe Jackson, please. Officer Burks, the Indian Fire Department, uh, really appreciates the efforts that you showed uh, assisting Alan Peterson. Very quick response. We're pretty quick, but we couldn't beat you. You're right on the seat. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think the uh, Clarks owe you too a lot of gratitude. Without your presence, I think we had a real possibility of two fatalities with that fire. So the Indian Fire Department would like to recognize you. This plaque that says the Indian Fire Department hereby recognizes Officer Austin Burks for his quick response and life-saving actions in the rescue of victims of the house fire September 4, 2016. Thank you. Appreciate it. <laughs> I think just like Mr. Peterson said, right place at the right time. <clears throat> the Lord placed us there to do a job and we did what we had to do. I can't think of anybody down at the police department that wouldn't have done what I did in my situation. So I appreciate all this. Thank you. C Captain Skaggs, would you come over on this side so we can take a, a photo of, of the 
of everyone. Alan, if you'd be front and center, scoot in real tight. Commissioners, that is it for the presentations. Thank you.